So I stopped at a local park today, and my goal was work on a little art in the park. And my other goal was, they're written in here, but I'm not going to go flipping through that. So, to do a little reading, research, and a devotional maybe, and maybe some meditation. So, that's what we're working on today. So, last day of the 4th of July weekend. What are you doing today? Any ideas, anything fun going on? I'm at the little senior pavilion or whatever you want to call it exercise place and uh, it's looking a little barren right through here and it's pretty sad I'm upset not terribly upset I mean you should just expect these things these days but this is the senior pavilion and we have sidewalk chalk so you can't even sit down and use the table so I need to bring cleaning supplies with me in the future I guess we still have this equipment, so that's fun. That's nice. And here's the other table, but I decided I'm wearing white shorts. I just can't see me sitting on this exactly. And I can't see me putting my book and stuff up here. Somebody left their toys. I hope they remember to come back and get them seems like something's missing, but I'm not sure what was there. It's been a while since I've been here. But these are fun. You can work both arms with these. And then this is fun. And I think it really is supposed to be the idea of it is you take it along here you probably don't do the slide thing you get a little lift a little agility like if you uh, actually do that let's see what it says while walking forwards and backwards navigate the plastic ring from one end of the pipe to the other without touching see that's what i thought the inside of the plastic ring so let's just see forward and backward so I went forward twice now I'm going to go backward so there's my first backward and we're switching sides of the body you want both sides the same whenever possible it's hard to do that and look at the phone to make sure I'm recording appropriately here there we go I got it and let's see what else do we have. There's a, um, well, it tells you your body benefits right here. Strengthens and mobilizes shoulders, improves hand-eye coordination, promotes greater concentration skills. Okay, this is just a fun little step up, walk down thing. And it has handlebars for people who might not be steady. Little bars on the side. I'll tell you, I was a little steady when I was sick of not feeling well. And on those meds last almost two months. These are fun. You take and put one hand on um, the one on the left and the other hand on the one on the right. And spin those around and you go forward and then you go backwards for evening up both sides and muscles or whatever. And there's another one of these. Uh, these had little, I guess that's all they had were these tubes. And you just slid them back and forth like this. The idea was to both of them the same. Not sure. I'm not sitting on that. I guess some people might sit down. Okay, here you go. Here's the rope bridge. Use the handrails for added balance. Walk from plank to plank across the bridge, standing on the ground if you're advanced. Use the handrails for added balance as you step over the planks, lifting your knees high up into the air. Gotcha. And then there's your body benefits. Practicing this exercise greatly improves balance, especially when walking on uneven or awkward surfaces like natural and unpaved paths. And when stepping over items along a path. So there's that. 
Um, I'm not sure I should try it with the phone in my hand. I might come back and try it in a minute. Oh, here's another one of these. Oops, totally missing one. Okay. Oh, here's the one that tells you about the hand bike. The one I was showing you when I first got started around here. There's a balance and hip twist. Seems like I've done that before. You just step up onto the circular step and practice balancing. Oh, that's what's missing. Got it. Because that is obviously what used to be here. I can't remember what missing from here though. Isn't that the way it is though? Let's see what does this say? What to do? Yeah, this is the one about rotating the grips. Which are mostly broken except for one on this bar and one on the other bar. Anyway, there you go. So, I'm not sure if I could set my phone down somewhere and do this or not. Let me switch. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to try it this way. I'm not sure we can, um, if it's too closed or not. And this is the one with the planks. I'm just going to do it because I'm here and I need the exercise. Okay. Definitely would have to use the handrails. Because I have these goofy glasses on. They're not really goofy glasses, but I have tricycles on. Which makes things kind of weird already. So, I'm going to go back and forth with the second on the planks. And then we're going to do the one where I go between the planks. I don't think they're going to need different but I guess it works for the most part. There we go. How's that? And then on the other side there's something. I can let's see. I'm gonna go around. I'm not sure I must have been a little more difficult or something. I had too much salt with lunch because now my head's starting to hurt. So let's just go up and down the squiggly little it's kind of like a snake. That's also to help with your um, being able to navigate and move your feet and legs. Pick up and lift your knees or whatever. I'm not sure if the fun stuff's still over at the kids' park or not, but if it is, we'll check that out. Sometimes it's fun to pretend to be like a kid. That's enough of this one. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do my art. Since I'm here, it's here. That's all I can do in this area. So, this is what I'm working on. I don't spill it. I don't know if I've showed you this already or not. I started on one. It's going to be one crazy looking dog, isn't it? Oh, I see where there's one of those stand or step up lift uh, twist. Balance and twist. Steps. I'm not sure if I can get myself to do it. Maybe. Let's see. I'm not sure. I might fit in this view this close to it. So, okay. Step up.
Using only small resources greatly improves balance and works to decrease both of support to spine and improving posture. Okay. Didn't see you doing while I was doing this. There's our friendly neighborhood squirrel. Grabbed a nut and crossed over, but I think he's already made it back to the woods. He scampered right through here as soon as he saw me raise my head up and look and see him. So I'm not sure where he went, but we missed that one. That senior, he's made three or four laps since I've been here. And there's like a map to let you know the distance. Let's see. South Loop is almost half a mile. Outer Loop is almost three quarter of a mile. The figure eight is just two tenths shy of being one mile. All right, so on the path now, I put my things back into the van. There's a different view of the senior playground. <laughs> Somebody left a zucchini they cut in half on that little table. Anyway, uh, we get desperate. We're too far from the bathrooms. We have a portlet. Adults only. So much for that, right? The more signs you put up, the more people ignore them. I believe that saying is true. That's what they told me when I asked them to put a slow kids playing type sign out towards where I lived. And even if not, just post some speed limit signs that suggest you go. 45 instead of 55, but you know, that's what they told me. The more signs you put up, the more they tend to ignore them. So, wonder if the water fountain works. I'm feeling a little parched. Okay, so it works, but it's warm. Not very cold. It's all right. So, I guess they've uh, just recently put this in because... That's where that badminton net used to be. But I think it had blacktop on it. And so now it's got concrete. They've uh, extended the soccer field. Like that whole distance. And for must be for the grown-ups or teens or whatever. And not the little kids. It used to be the little kids area. Over on the far side by where the bathrooms are. So there's the badminton. I'm going to go off the path. I'm not going to walk the entire path because I don't want to bore you guys. So there's a nice shelter where we sometimes have birthday parties. Or you can have um, picnics or whatever. So there's a bit of a woods. On the inside of the first track, the track that goes like halfway, and then there's an open field, I think, on the other half towards the full circle or loop, as you call it. So, I try not to get people in my videos, so I'm not going to show the little playground area where I have some people hanging out right now. Let's see if I can do it this way. So, there's the water thing that they put in. For the kids. So here's the play equipment. Years ago, we played here a lot with kids and grandkids. Let me step over here. I was going to see if this one thing is still here different kind of monkey bars here and then there's this here this is fun and this I guess we have to climb up here now in order to grab these so okay it's not what I was looking for so the other thing is in here it used to just be a pull across you would grab this thing and it would let you slide all the way across but that's not what they replaced it with so 
Okay. It's just another version of that. That's what it is. Alright, I'm going to stop for a minute because there's some people a little too close to where I'm recording. Alrighty, I paused to talk to a lady with her kid over there by the swing set and thought, well, I don't want to be videotaping people, so I shut this off for a while. There's the other soccer field, and there's more in the back, so they're really developing this. So we have some nature where the woods is, and it's surrounded by woods, more or less, on um, two sides. Let's see, the left side, and then the back side, and then um, stores and concrete jungle to the right, past the park, and then, of course, the main drag, or we pull in a park before we start walking it is like the concrete jungle type thing too so yeah so i'm walking through the grass and i'm cutting through oh look a bench in the shade how sweet is that maybe someday we'll walk all this but not today i still need to get back and get fluffy out for her walk i don't want to get too hot too tired or i get a headache and then not be able to take care of fluffy See, it looks like they're working on football field back here, doesn't it? Look, I think it, I can't remember if I showed this the other day or not. So what I'm going to do is just show you this. And then I'm going to get back on that main little track here to walk back around to the car. And then as the people left the water area, I'd go back over to the water area. But uh, that's backwards and I don't believe in going backwards sometimes so we're just gonna do this I had a really pleasant talk with the lady whose little girl was at the swing set she's almost a neighbor just two point however one or ten two tenths away from where I am so that's cool might have a future walking buddy when I walk this trail or just someone to talk to while she watches her little girl play that's nice. I really miss going places like down around the city. Some of the parks are so cool. But this will do. And I'm grateful to have what I have. Live where I live and be able to do. Get out and about. Look, more benches. They've really built the place up a little bit more. Can't see this. Wait to see what's in store for the future. <sighs> There's a ball diamond, and then in the back, another ball diamond. I could tell you a story about that one from decades ago, but I think I'll keep it to myself. It'd be a little embarrassing. Although, if we're all grown-ups, yeah, it wouldn't matter. Well, I think we might have got close to that squirrel. I just heard something rustling running through there. And I'm sure there's more than one anyway. Okay, well, that's about enough of that. I'll be editing or checking to see if I have people spaces in here. And then uh, I'll get this set off. You can see a little bit about what's in my world sometimes, depending on where I'm traveling to and from. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Sunday.